This is Twit. I am uh, going to show you something that uh, Trey Ratcliffe uh, is uh, offering in conjunction with, uh, I can't remember the name of the guy, I should have written this down, who uh, created it. It was a very expensive tool you could get online called Plotograph. Actually, the guy who made it, his name is Plotta. That's hence the name Plotograph. So the idea is Plotograph will take an image and animate it. Uh, let me show you the successful results first, okay? So here is a, a stat, it was a static image of a boat in the water. This was our boat that we sailed on some time ago. And you uh, do some things, which I'll show you in a minute, and it will animate it so that the clouds are moving now and the water is moving, which is it's kind of cool, yeah. right? The people on the boat are not moving, right? But the boat is completely still <laughs> because it's all done kind of, and it, it works with basically clouds, water, and fire are the best are the things it's best at. Here is uh, this is uh, I'm I'm uh, using a torch to crisp up some duck breasts after <laughs> sous viding them, okay? And I'm going to animate. See, it works well when you do it subtly. <gasps> Isn't that kind of cool? It's subtle. Right? Uh, this is probably my best effort. And again, I'll show you what you do to make this happen. But the clouds move, the water moves subtly. It, it takes some practice to make it look good and not weird because it's completely synthetic. Uh, and it's not going to work with a lot of photos that um, you, know, you might have. For instance, let's take a a picture on a, of a bug on a bicycle. Okay, <laughs> this is a bad choice for plotograph because even if it works, it's going to be terrifying. The way <laughs> the way the way you do it is you're going to pick points to animate, and uh, so I've used the animate tool here, and you just draw little arrows for the direction of the animation. Okay, I don't know. I have no idea what this is going to end up looking like, but it's not going to be good. Uh, you can also mask it, so you can say, I you know I don't I don't want any animation. This is the stuff that's going to be static. And since it is a bug on a bicycle, let's make sure the bug does not move. If you make a mistake, you can use the eraser to trim out pieces. All right. And then there's also anchor points. You can modify uh, where, 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 uh, where things begin and end. I'm not actually not sure what you do with that. Uh, select allows you to remove motion points. You can also choose the speed, and then you can crop the image. And then finally, after you've done the animation, you have two forms to store it in. You can store it for iMessage purposes, which I think is an animated GIF, and that would go for you email and text. You sent it to me. Yeah. I sent you. Well, I ended up. I found that the MP4s, the videos, work best. So I sent you a. I sent you a video. Oh. Do you want to see? I don't know what this is going to. I want to see it. It's going to be. <gasps> uh, <laughs> so. But actually, that's useful because you can see kind of what the effect does. It takes whatever is there and kind of slides it along. Notice because I masked the bug, the bug is not part of that. Why do you have a picture of a bug on a bicycle? <laughs> it's a long, weird story. Was it from the screensavers? It was. Okay. All right. Let me, uh, <laughs> why do you have a, let me see, you know, you. so my point being that this is, the good news is it's only five bucks. This was, I think, like one hundred fifty dollars when it was only good. on the web. So they've, this is inexpensive enough that you probably want to get it just to add it to your repertoire. But unless you take for here, here's a good example. Here's a picture that has some water in it. Unless you have water, it's probably not a good idea to or, or fire or clouds. I can move both the see. There's not a lot of clouds, so I don't know. Let me let me just say I'll do a little animation here in the clouds, just a little. You just sent me a message. I sent you a picture of a turkey. A turkey is not going to be good. Mm. And I can have the water going <laughs> a little bit here, but not a lot. Let's just animate to see how it looks. Yeah, see, I forgot one thing. Well, you got to mask off the stuff <laughs> that you that don't. That is cool, though. Yeah, it's kind of an interesting effect. So you use the mask, and notice how you can make the mask bigger or smaller. You're going to make it pretty big here because, whoops. Uh, and this will give me an opportunity. So these are things that just aren't going to move here. We don't want you to actually use any of this to move. And then I'm going to use the erase because I got it a little bit too aggressive mm. here and here. And then I'm going to make a smaller mask and just finish up here. And we don't want any of the seal. If you leave anything, uh, it will use it. <laughs> and now, yeah, you see you can't really see anything yeah. because there's hardly anything to move. I sent you a picture of water. Okay. 
Okay, good. Let's see. Megan wants me to. Oh yeah, this would be. This is. This is a perfect example. So let me save this. Whoops. Let me get out of. How do I get out back? Yeah, done. Okay. Let me save this. Long press. Save it. And now that I've saved it onto my roll, I can go back to Plotograph. And I'll stop this dopey animation and add <laughs> Megan's lovely photo. This is a perfect example. No good animating the sky, but I can do the, the little uh, waves here. And the waves would be moving. So we're going to start with the animate. And, and the longer it is, of course, the longer. So little short ones, I think, for these. And, of course, you can play with it. And then we'll mask out everything else so we don't want any of the cliff to move. Let's just see what happens there. <gasps> So it actually is kind of a realistic effect, right? So that's the key with Plotograph, is to choose things that are it's going to look nice with. Yeah. That actually works beautifully. And, you know, these are not moving in, so maybe I'll go back here and I'll add a couple more points here. Again, because I've masked out the cliff, I don't have to worry about overlapping it a little bit. Now that's too much. You see what I did there? Oh! Yeah, that's that's like the water's <laughs> gushing out there. So you can use the select tool, and this took me a while to learn this. If you if you have stuff you don't like, just select it and delete it, and then that way it won't won't mess it up. I think that's pretty cool.